What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here at the beautiful Journey at Pechanga. This is actually right here in my hometown and it's been a couple years since I've played and it looks beautiful. We have a perfect day today. It's gonna be like a high of 65 and sunny and I think I've, I've just forgotten how beautiful it is here. So I'm really excited to show you guys the golf course. We're gonna do some fun tips. We're gonna show you the whole 18 and hopefully I'll be able to shoot a decent score. So let's get to it. It's been a while since I've played here, but I'm going to be doing a course vlog here, just me against the course, and I'm going to be brave and I'm going to play the black tees today. We're going to be playing uh, 18 holes, and I'll be recording throughout the entire game, but we're going to break it up into three videos to, so that you can be able to see every hole nice and clear if you want to come out and play here. I can tell you right now, first hole is looking great, so we will do the first six holes for this vlog right here. Let's get started. seven to carry ah oh, in a normal day I'd go for it but okay good laid it up all right so I laid it up because I couldn't go for it with this win and I'm so bummed now seeing that the lake is dried out but quick shout out to Bushnell um, it's official we just signed a year contract deal and they are, they're, the, they're just the best range finders in the biz and they got speakers and headphones and so much more coming out so be sure to stay tuned for that. On the green and three, this is my birdie putt. I hit it to about, I think that's like 10 feet, maybe a little less. And hopefully we can secure the birdie. Even though it's it's winter season right now, the course is in pretty good conditions, I'd say. Like the fairway is dormant right now, but the greens right here are looking not too bad. We'll see how fast they roll. I didn't take a practice putt, which was probably not a good idea. Oh wow, much closer than 10 feet. Actually, holy camoly. There we go. All right, starting it off with a birdie. Let's go. <laughs> Long par four, 424. I hit that so good. Okay, we're gonna see how far I hit that. <laughs> Oh, the wind is helping, so my drive just flew. All right. So this hole is 424, and I have 171 left. Is that right? It said I hit 270. Hold on. I need to do math. That's crazy. I don't hit that. I mean, granted, it is downwind, but I want to confirm. Equals, oh, that's a little off. I hit it 253 yards on that drive. Okay, so we're at 171, downwind. I crushed it. I crushed it. Oh, wow. The wind is blowing really hard. My, my club would normally only go 150, and that was my number 170 shot. My editor knows one thing, she knows that chipping was never my strong suit. 
Um, so my cart says it's, it's playing around 148. I'm bringing my seven and eight, eight, seven and eight iron because I'm not sure which I want to hit. Go from here. Check the wind. Here we go. I'm going with a seven iron because the wind is hurting just a step, just a little bit. it today that might have gone in the bunker we'll see i thought that was going to stay on the green oh gosh let's see how good i go okay so this is going to be slick i know that this goes really downhill we'll see how soft i can hit it here. This is how to properly rake a bunker. I don't actually people think people know this. I used to work for a superintendent, so when you rake, you don't just go like this. Okay, so you actually, you can start with raking over. A lot of people didn't rake. You rake like this, and then you do one brush over, just like so, and then you can add another rake in if you want the teeth to show. And then you do it continuing. Break it up, break it in to even it out. Use it how you do it. That's how caddies do it. Now you just learn a little bit of caddying. Okay, let's make this fun. broke last second. <laughs> Bogey. This is kind of a funny par four. So I know that it banks this way and that way from prior playing here. So we'll see how good of a drive I can hit. Hole number four, 412 yards from the black tees. This hole is tricky because it banks this way and there's trees coming from the left and the right and there's hazard on the right so you want to take it at that left tree line the edge of the left tree line and let it kind of bank down i'm gonna go a little risky and go driver here because i don't want too far of an approach hit that any better. It literally faded into the perfect spot and funneled down. I gotta come out of retirement. <laughs> Only when I play alone. <laughs> Ask me, what do you do when there's ropes here? And for any non-golfers that may be watching, um, in standard rules of golf, even in casual golf, you're allowed to, this is a movable obstruction. You can lay it flat. Obviously, you definitely want to put it back. So, and even like this, the yardage thing, I don't know if people know this, but this comes up. If you want it to, if it's in the way of your shot. So I'm going to put this down and make sure to put it back. Rolling. 153 downwind. I'm going with an 8 iron. Oh, I cut it. Shoot, why am I doing this? You're at the beach. 
let's go to the beach. Beach. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We'll save it. I like bunker play. I didn't make the putt, so maybe we can repeat the same good sand shot. Okay. Hopefully, I don't eat sand. It's a long putt. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's make this putt. This is for a sandy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't hit the green from 70 yards out, but we're gonna chip in one putt, just in way. highest points of the golf course is hole number six. This is the final hole of this vlog and it's just a crazy view. You literally saw, see all of Inland Empire and more and it's the highest point and it's just such a great view.
for Birdie. I actually have a Dave's hot chicken ball. <laughs> so I gotta make this for Dave. There we go. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. I think I finished even for the six holes. That's a good comeback. Hopefully we can go under in the next one. <laughs> All right, you guys, that wraps up my first part of the Journey at Pachanga golf course vlog. We just played the first six holes, amazing views. I think I pulled off even par with birdies and bogeys and birdies and bogeys. So hopefully we'll go under it during the second and third part of this series. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, or hit the notification button so you don't miss a beat. Bye for now.